everybody. Welcome to Weird Science Online. So we decided to bring a special online presentation of Weird Science for you this summer, just to show you kind of what we did. So today we are talking about the ocean depths. So the deepest parts of the ocean. I'm really excited. today. So, first thing we're going to talk about is oceanographers. Do you know what an oceanographer is? You know what you're right? Uh, do you know Johnny? No. 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 Okay. Well, an oceanographer is a scientist who studies the sun. Uh, that's close. That's real close, Bobby Ray. Um, plants? That's very close. The ocean. Yay! Johnny got it! Wow. Yes! An oceanographer is a scientist who studies the ocean. Super cool. That's really cool. So scientists study a lot of different things in the ocean, so there's lots of different types of oceanographers. There's geographical oceanographers, chemical, physical, and biological. So those are lots of big words. Um, Miss Bell. Yeah. Can you elaborate on What's the chemicals, bi biological? Yeah. And I've got to <laughs> So geographical oceanographer studies things like the ocean floor. So then a chemical oceanographer studies the mineral content of water. And so they study a lot of stuff, like with pollution, things like that. They saved my home? Yes. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Then physical oceanographers study the waves and the currents. So they study how the atmosphere and the ocean react to each other. So that is more about how our weather is. That's cool. Yeah, and then my favorite is the biological oceanographer because they study sea life. <gasps> the fishies! The fishies! So it's pretty cool. Tasty! <laughs> All right, so. Can y'all help me be oceanographers today? Yes! We can all be oceanographers today. So the first experiment that we're going to do is we're going to make an ocean in a jar. So the ocean Depending on where you are, it either has three zones or five. So in the deepest trenches and places, it's five zones, but everywhere else, it's about three. So there's sunlight, twilight, midnight, the abyss, and trench. So we have to make all these different colors in this jar. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take Corn syrup. Yummy. Yummy. That's good eating right there. And food coloring. Mm. Hold on, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. One moment, please. Blue. So, 
We have a funnel that we're going to have to use to put all of our stuff in so that it goes in slowly. So we don't want to pour it all in at one time. Looks tasty. It's bad. Yes. Have we tried eating it? No. So we can't eat it? No. Can't? Don't eat it! Ten out of ten, don't recommend. Yeah. The next one is the abyss. Abyss. And it's gonna be. This one's scary. So, is the you said the trench is the is one of the darkest ones? Yes. How did the fish see? Well, a lot of them make their own light. That is called bioluminescence. So they got like bugs? Kind of. We'll see a picture later of an angler fish that kind of looks like you have a light bulb. Ooh. All right. So now we're going to pour our dish soap in. Ooh. And if we do it right, it should just sit right on top of our corn syrup. All right, what's next? So we've got our trench and our abyss, and now we need the midnight zone. Like the sky? Yeah, I call it the sky. So now I'm going to take some water, and then I'm just going to put a couple of drops in this one. Magically have a spoon. Is that the same food coloring? It is. So food coloring and water for this lake. Mm -hmm. There's a midnight zone. Is it separating it? Yes. Cool. That's all bubbly and blue. <laughs> <laughs> the twilight zone. So the red bowl goes first, no color? So no color. So I'm going to pour in this baby oil. And it should sit right on top of the water. It's going to be a little bubbly. Don't bye bye! rubbing alcohol. <gasps> that burns. Yes. So right after we put it in, we'll put the top on. <laughs> so now we have two rubbing alcohol. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to let this drip on to the top. And this is our sunlight zone. Can we shake it out? Well, if we shake it, all of the layers will go out of it. We can't do that here. So we gotta. <laughs> but now, once these little bubbles kind of go away a little bit, you can see all five of the layers. That's a really neat science experiment, Miss Beth. Thank you. So I have some pictures of some animals that live in these zones. Do you think you can help me decide which zone they go in? Yes. All right. So remember, we have our five layers of the ocean and our five layers of the ocean. So we have sunlight, twilight, midnight, 
the abyss, and the trench. And so most of our sea life is going to be up here around the sunlight zone and the twilight zone. But we do have animals in other places. So here is a shrimp. <gasps> oh, oh, that's my favorite snack. Okay. I love shrimps. Cool, cool, cool. So where do you think he would go? Hmm. Which zone do you think? In the deep. You think he lives in the deep? Yes. That is where he lives. <gasps> he lives in the abyss. Good job, Elizabeth. Thank you. Nice, nice, nice. What about the octopus? Up towards sunlight or down towards deep? How about you, Johnny? I'm thinking deep. Thinking deep? I have over here, he lives in the twilight zone. So he's kind of in the middle. Oh! What about the anglerfish? <laughs> now, Beth, <laughs> what is that? I hate to tell you, but there's one right behind you. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, neither of them are real. He's a fish that has this little antenna that comes off his head that has a little light on it. That is not a fish! That's an alien! <laughs> he does look very much like an alien. Do you know which zone he lives in? He has to live in the deep. I've never seen a... You said a fish? I've never seen something fish like that before. He actually lives in midnight, so he's kind of in the middle too. You said that fish has a light bulb? He does have a light bulb. Can he see? Well, that's what he uses to lure in his prey. Oh, so and that's not like his little night light. Yeah, I guess he could use it like a night light if he gets kind of scared. Okay. That's a scary fish. That is a scary fish. What about dolphins? <gasps> ah! What? The top layer. Very good. They live in the sunlight zone. And then the last one is a sea star or a starfish. Apparently the more scientifically correct word is sea star. I have one of those in my hair. You do have one of those in your hair. Right His name is Squishy. Oh, I like that name. That's a good thing. So where do we think Squishy lives? Honey. Way up top. Way up top? We think so too. He actually lives way down low <gasps> in the trench. No way. Squishy, you live down there? But, but then when you go to, yeah, when you go to the beach though, Miss Beth, they're all on the sand. Yeah. They kind of live all different places. Oh. But you can find sea stars in the abyss and in the trench. Oh. Depending on what they look like. This one may not necessarily be in the trench. There are some that look like ginormous spiders. Oh, no. Yep. No. Yep. I don't like spooters. I don't either. The last thing that I have for you today is you can make your own sea creature. <gasps> How's that sound? I'm so excited. <laughs> so you can follow along with at home with us with this too. So we're just gonna have some paper and some pencils and we're gonna draw some sea creatures. So here is some paper and pencils. Oh Johnny. Blue like the ocean. Here's the pencil. Yeah. Little help there. <laughs> Johnny you okay? Those are some beautiful fishes. You could totally do this at home with air dry clay too. Very nice. Those are some beautiful fish. So you see a lot of pictures of these deep sea fish. Looked very strange and wonderful and have all kinds of different ways that they look. So it'd be fun to draw one of your own. Well, I heard we have a special guest. I don't know who it is. I heard there's jokes involved.
Well, don't forget to come see us on Tuesdays at 10 this summer for Weird Science. And we have plenty of really cool newsletters that you can pick up online or here at the library that have some puzzles and some experiments and all kinds of different fun stuff that you can do at home as well as here. So it sounds good. All right, I gotta go do something, find something in the thing, the wherever. And um, yeah, your guest star will be here in a second. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye! Bye, Bye Miss Ben! I think, I think after this, after we finish this program, I'm gonna go make me some fish sticks. You want some fish sticks? You want some fish sticks? Yeah. Yes. You want some fish sticks? Who oh, yes, who oh, yes. But first, I have some jokes. Okay, let's hear them. Okay, okay, okay. They better be good. Oh, they are, they are. What happens when you throw a green rock into the Red Sea? It sinks? It gets wet. <laughs>